don't want to show any like moment, you know. <laughs> I want to be perfect. <laughs> I could tell like from his sweat, I could tell from his like bleeding, like everything was beautiful as a like human, you know. I realized I'm choosing to be a ballet dancer, oh. you know. Otherwise you cannot be a professional dancer. I love people like audience tell me, oh you didn't look like this shot. It was uh, my best moment. <laughs> I was really taking so many European ballet company auditions, but it didn't happen. Like, I couldn't get a place to be in. Beyond the mirror, reflections of lives beyond the glass. Thank you for coming, Kaki. Thank you for inviting me. No, this is amazing. But before we start, I just mm -hmm. wanted to remind everybody to please review and give us a five star, one star review. Give us something, a comment. I will really appreciate it. And we have today a special guest, Kaki. <laughs> nice to meet you, Gustavo. <laughs> it's amazing to have you back. It's been what? Yeah, what? Forever. Because <laughs> we, we lived together, what, like seven years ago? Yeah, seven or eight years ago. That's crazy. At New I was York. Look, I, I was looking at a picture of us. Remember that we used to do Wednesday pizza? Yes, yes, yes. I remember. So I was like, oh, these are fun times. <laughs> oh my God, we were so young. Yes. <laughs> we look so young. We look. Pics, it's hilarious. You know, and we think we were so old or something like that. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> Today, I wanted to talk about a little bit of, like, how do you find ballet? Mm, wow. You know? And then we can go a little bit into, like, your gymnastic background. Okay, you know it. Because <laughs> so I want to know how do you find those two and, like, how do you decide to make the switch or why? Oh, okay, so let me tell about myself. <laughs> yes, let's do So now I am a professional dancer with Eugene Ballet as a principal dancer really such a my owner but yeah you, you deserve it <laughs> and but I'm, I'm enjoying to dance on stage as ballet ballet dancer and yeah but before i started ballet so as you said i i was doing gymnastics since when i was 10 years old oh really yeah just because my mom put me into <laughs> <laughs> gymnastic class and uh, which i really liked oh I, re I was very good at that too. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> of course you were. I <laughs> so, don't doubt it. Yeah, I was keep doing until when I was 14 years old. Okay. So like four or five years, I kept continuing. W which type of gymnastics? Oh, it's a, so you know, it's a little bit specific talk, but gymnastic has a, like six different elements for guide, oh. which is like floor tumbling and like, jump over the stuff and like high bar and uh, so I don't know how to describe no, no, it. So, yeah. but, but, so you were doing all of those? Oh, actually four of them, like six. Oh. Four of six. Wow. Um, but it was really tough. I like, bet. I was swinging over the bar and uh, sometimes I fail. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Crazy. So four years you were four doing Four years, it. yes. And then from then, what did you do? Like So... When I started gymnastics, I was age of 10. And then at the age of 11, I also started ballet. Okay. Because of a uh, mom's. <laughs> my mom wanted me to do that too. So. Oh, really? Because my mother used to dance ballet. Oh. So. I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah, my mother teaching also. She teaches too? Yes. Does she have a school or she... No, small studio she small has. But yeah. So you train with her? Actually, the funny thing is I've never... Oh, really? I've never take her class. <laughs> that is hilarious. <laughs> Did you want to take her class? I was okay for that, but she <laughs> doesn't want... <laughs> she didn't want me to teach. Really? Yeah. Wow. But yeah, this is how I started ballet. So you started ballet. Yes. When did you decide that you were not going to continue with gymnastics? So at the junior high school, I was in the very strong gymnastic team, and I went to really high place in the, you know, competition. Yeah. And then when I, the time of when I uh, upgraded to high school, I had to decide what to do in my future, in my career. 
and then, well, I picked up ballet. You picked up ballet. Yeah, because at that time I liked ballet more, and、uh, ballet was very fun for me that time. <laughs> you know? How did you find differences between them? You know, because gymnastics、mm-hmm. is more like athleticism,、yes. and ballet is athleticism with art. With art, perfect. Yes. How do you pick between the? How did you be like? Maybe you were like, I like ballet because I can still be athletic,、mm-hmm. but I can give an emotion to it. Totally. I don't know. I think that's the biggest part for me, which why I chose ballet. So I really like to use my body, like not using ball or like bat, but my own body to achieve some like technique or like some great stuff people will like. <laughs> So that is what I like. I can totally see that. Yeah, you light up when you are in the stage. <laughs> Thank you. you know, <laughs> I'm like, trying. Like, poof, like who's that? Oh, that's Koki, of course.、Right. That's my dream. You know, <laughs> you doing it.、Yes. Like, trust me, when I see you, I'm like, wow. Yeah. Like, <laughs> so so good. <laughs> yeah. Let's go a little bit more into the ballet.、Mm-hmm. So from there, did you graduated in Japan?、Mm-hmm. And yes. Yes, and、uh, also. Not really yet. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. So you did it. I know you went to <clears throat> Maurice Bejart. Yes, in Switzerland. How long were you there? Actually, it was only two years. Oh, only two but years. But so intense. <laughs> oh, I bet. Tell me a little bit more about it because I sure don't, I don't really know anything about it except、mm-hmm. one Colombian、mm-hmm. has been there forever. I think he was. Is there a principal or something? Oh, the company, maybe、yeah. Oscar. Oscar Chacon. Oscar Chacon. Oh my God, he was amazing. Yeah, Oscar Chacon. Oh my God, he was good person too. <laughs> he, he is the cousin of one of my best friends from Colombia. <laughs> That's awesome. I love him. I love him dancing. Amazing dancer. He is. Oh my so, God. So tell me a little bit more about that. Okay, so at the age of eighteen, when I graduated high school in Japan, like normal high school. Uh, I decided to not go to university, but why not discover in ballet world more?、Yeah. <laughs> so I was thinking to go abroad, like different ballet school in other country. And、uh, at the moment, I really liked Maurice Bejo ballet, which is like Bolero, Hiroyasui, and like some other his stuff. Anyway, I really liked Maurice Bejo style, so. I decided to take that school's、uh, audition, and I passed. Of course, you did. <laughs> so yeah, that's why I moved. You moved there. Yeah. Also because they didn't,、uh, we didn't need to pay for the oh, school. Oh, really? It was completely free. That's very good. So yeah, that was a really big reason for me too. How, how was the biggest difference is getting out of Japan, or like how you knew about ballet war into getting. Going the first、uh-huh. time that you go yeah, somewhere exactly. else, it was first time for me to go. Well, everything. <laughs> Did you speak the language? No, not no, really. Because I know you speak French, right? Yes, because in Switzerland I had to、wow. speak French. But yeah, when I moved into Switzerland, I couldn't speak French like almost at all.、Oh. Like. I could say my name is Koki, <laughs> you know, <laughs> good morning or something, but. That's、Nothing、it. else. So I was trying to like talk with my friend in English because I could a little bit speak English that time. So, and then they could teach me French. Really kind people I have. Really, wow. My friends were so kind for me, and yeah, this is how I learned French. And、uh, of course, the class is ha- held in with in French, so I had to understand what teacher says. What they're saying, yeah. Yeah, and、uh, I had to. I had to <laughs> really. What was was it completely different? Now what you were used to, it, like taking a class in Japan and now in Switzerland, was it like different or it was it close was enough? Different. Different. Totally. Yeah. Also, like my lifestyle completely changed. Of course. Because when I when you enter to ballet school, it's like whole day just ballet. <laughs> Before you were not, you were like probably like four hours or three hours, right? Yeah, only like two hours a day of、oh. ballet because. In the day, I was going to high school, like to study normal you know, everything normal. In the afternoon, I was in ballet studio to learn something. Wow! But just that. So, but in Switzerland, so actually, I want to talk about 
my like schedule in Switzerland. Yes, tell us about it. So six day in a week, from、uh, I think it is from nine a.m. to five p.m. Wow, so long. Yeah, it's long. And nine p.m. we start ballet class, which was really also like different style, like more open chest, like open mind, <laughs> use your whole body, which I really really liked. And then after Malikus, we had like modern class, which is a Martha Martha Graham technique. Okay, you know, it's based on New York, but like born in New York technique. But we did Martha Graham, and then we had also singing class. Singing, yeah, really, <laughs> and like percussion. Wow,、class. so like a full like an art school, like exactly, fully yeah. Art school. Like rhythmic and you know artistic. Understanding music, which I think sometimes exactly, is、yeah. very important for dancers, because、exactly. you know, like yes, you can hear the music, but if you understood the structure and how the music is played,、mm-hmm. you can play with them more as an artist. Exactly, yeah. Because you know, when、if、you, you know, understand music, exactly, you can put yourself on it. Yes, yeah. Yeah. that's crazy. It so, was really fun. So、yeah. percussion, singing, percussion, singing, and then、uh, after lunch break, we have like repertory class. Okay. From like Morris Bejo, or like we create something,、okay. huh. but every day, every day, every day. It wow, was、so、tough. <laughs> that is crazy. It was. I think I got really stronger then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like this is yeah the toughest. Wow. So you were two years there.、Mm-hmm. When do you are like, I have to go somewhere else, or what is next、mm-hmm. in my career? Of course, at the end of two years of a curriculum, everyone is trying to like audition for a ballet company,、uh-huh. and、uh, I did it too. I was really taking so many European ballet company auditions, but it didn't happen. Like I couldn't get a place to be in. Okay. Also because of my height. Uh huh. <laughs> well, maybe we can talk about it later. But we can talk、yeah, a little bit about it later. But I'm really short dancer, so. Really, you know, <laughs> difficult to get some position in European company, but、uh, yeah, you know, we have to do it.、So. Yeah, we have to do it. <laughs> I was keep doing, like finding, trying to find some place, some job, like、uh, anywhere in the world. You were like open. Yeah, I was open really. And that's how you find Gelsies. Exactly. Gelsie Kirkland. Yeah, how I end up in Gelsie Kirkland. <laughs> that is so crazy. Can you、it、believe、is. that we met each other in New York? Exactly. Gelsies, like eight years ago. Eight years ago. That is so so crazy. I'm so lucky. <laughs> yeah, I'm lucky too.、Yeah. <laughs> how? So when you get to New York.、Mm-hmm. Was it another big change? Oh my god! <laughs> well, obviously New York is the world's biggest city in、yes. in the world. Oh my god! Every everything was fun for me. Like not only the ballet, like everything. My everything. life was really fun. <laughs> it was a big change. It was a big change. Like also where I was living in Switzerland was small, kind of small city like Eugene. Okay. Very like not big city like. Not many things to do, just like many natures, like <laughs>、okay. which I liked. But New York was more like attractive city. <laughs>、oh, it is an yeah, it's an attractive city. I mean,、yeah. you can do anything. In exactly. New York. Yeah, I could. You're gonna find it. Yes. Whatever you think. Exactly. You can find whatever、it. you think, whatever you dream, you can do that. Yes. So, going to Gelsies, what was your experience? That was a lot of experience too. Like, well, as you know, <laughs> we've been doing it every day too. Like ballet class in the repertories, rehearsals. It was really fun time. Also, you know, it was like kind of semi-professional group、mm-hmm. which we were in. So、yes. at there, finally, I could have like experience as a ballet dancer, which means like. How to talk with you, like stager or like mistress, like how how you have to learn by yourself to like achieve that role or、yes. like that show performance, and it is really different. In school, like teachers tells you what yeah to do. tells what you do, but now what that was a time to think by myself and work with your partner and. 
just do. Just do, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nobody's there like, okay, cocky, do this. Exactly. I yeah. mean, they are, but they like, are, but they were even kind. Like, it's you. Exactly. It was my responsibility. So totally. The time, yeah, I re- I realized I'm choosing to be a ballet dancer.、Oh, you know, I like that because you know, otherwise you cannot be a professional dancer. Totally. If you're passive, you cannot. You have to be like. You have to go for it. Active, yeah. You have to go for it. You have to go for it.、Mm-hmm. Now that you're talking a little bit about like you have to achieve it yourself,、mm-hmm. what is your favorite step? Steps, okay. You know, <laughs> maybe you know that I like very、really、small but sharp and quick, fast, like foot movement. Yes, you do. Which calls like allegro in ballet, <laughs>、mm-hmm. <laughs> because I find big jumps are really. All the people can see how amazing it is, and which I really like it too. But also, as a like professional dancer, I wanna show like some, you know, if even if it it looks really easy, but people can feel. Oh my God, he's really putting so much effort in that only like few few inch of movement, like to specify what you're trying to tell. Yeah, like. I don't want to show any like、uh, moment, you know. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> I want to be perfect. <laughs> that's good. I have now that you're talking about like how you find that specificity of、mm-hmm. the movement and how you think about even the smallest step. How do you find the athleticism、mm-hmm. of that、oh、into like the art? Because、mm. you know, sometimes it can be like, oh, he's just trying so hard and it just looks like rough. Yes, yes, yes. How did you make it look? Artistic. Artistic. How did you find that in yourself?、Mm, that's a yeah, really good question and a difficult question <laughs> too. It's super difficult yeah, to answer. Yes, because we are trying to make it, trying to find that answer, right? Like for for our career, yeah, forever. But yeah, what I'm thinking for now, currently is, so I like. Actually, I don't know how people say it, but I like ballet. To be really athletic,ism、okay. like really athlete thing because ballet requires so many like body physical power and like stamina and everything we need. We are athlete and that is which I like, like、uh, the part I like of ballet, you know. And、uh, so. It's gonna going back to my visual experience, like in Switzerland. All, all of Morris visual dance is really hard and tough for dancers, and but when you look at it, you really see it. Oh my god, he's really tired. Oh my god, he's suffering in everything. But it was really beautiful,、mm-hmm. you know. I could tell like from his sweat. I could tell from his like bleeding. Like everything was beautiful as a like human, you know. I like that. Not even human. It looks like almost like God. I would say like, <laughs> wow, you know, in the myth, God、yeah. in the myth. Like he was really strong. Like she was really strong. Like strong. All of that strength we can see on stage was really beautiful for me. So I'm trying to find, trying to actually show how I'm, like. Using all full my energy on stage, and hopefully people can find some like how to say like bold beautifulness. No, I love it through me. I don't know. Yeah, I cannot describe. No, well, no, it's perfect. I think you did an amazing job of describing that.、Mm-hmm. And I really love what you're saying about like seeing that pain, seeing、mm-hmm. that pain in us. Finding that beauty,、mm-hmm. we, I was saying, you know, like when you see that pain, as an artist, we we can、mm-hmm. connect to that because we know it. You know, we know the sacrifice,、mm-hmm. and we know. But sometimes I feel like it goes beyond when the audience、mm-hmm. can connect to that pain, even、exactly. though they haven't gone through that,、mm-hmm. even though they never experienced that,、mm-hmm. but they could feel it. And that's the beauty, and I feel like that's what makes it art. I think so. Yeah, exactly. That is our art, not only ballet.、It's、yeah. One form of art, I think. Yes, I, I totally, believe. Yeah. What do you think is the most important thing about ballet, or like a ballet <laughs> dancer should do? Oh my god. I mean, yeah, so many things. It's, it's so many things. <laughs> But yeah, 
you know, if you're like classic dancer, maybe you will say like tradition or like, you know, all the bad, but I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I think for me, well, yeah, I know what to say. I think what's the most important thing as a ballet dancer and for ballet is like to be honest human. I like that. Like when you on at least when you are on stage or like when you're in studios too but because my teacher was always saying you have to be really good person to be seen on stage as good dancer and like you know on stage as I said like I'm showing everything like all of my energy and like effort so if you are uh, really like I don't, I don't know how to say but bad person like really like, it might come off as well. yeah exactly you might see it even eventually or something you know mm -hmm. yeah exactly yeah I agree. audience will see you see you you know yeah I think something that happened to me like two or three weeks ago somebody was telling me it was an acting coach mm -hmm. and he was telling me how it's so important for you to think of what you're actually doing, mm -hmm. not just pretend to do it. Because, for example, like a lot of dancers, and we, mm -hmm. I, I was guilty of this, <laughs> you know, where you are on the stage and you just look at your bro at your friend or something, <laughs> and you're like, exactly, and you yeah. just do a gesture with your just hand. <laughs> and it's like, what is that gesture? What are you really saying? True. You clearly are saying nothing. Mm -hmm. So the audience can say that. Yeah. But if you think, for example, something like, a simple like, how are you doing, mm -hmm. Koki? Like, even though it's the same gesture, but I'm thinking it, it comes out different. Exactly. Because my intention has a purpose. Mm -hmm. So I feel like that's very important to yeah. do. And it kind of goes with what you're saying. Mm -hmm. If deep down, you know that you are not doing good or you are like maybe being bad for some reason, mm -hmm. it might come off that way. Because True. deep down, you are having that thought. Yeah. I don't know. You have to show really like your heart. Right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you like... have to show your heart. <laughs> You have to know what you're doing. Yes, I totally agree with you. Yeah. You know, talking a little bit about the stage, how do you feel you can own it? How do you feel like when you step in it, you're like, this is how you mm -hmm. take the stage? Like, you know, when you're going into the scene. Into the scene, yeah. What like, are you thinking? <gasps> like, what are you... What have I thinking? True. Well, obviously, you know, it's been like... 15 years or more like about like almost like 20 years of my ballet career is going but I'm still getting nervous when I go to on stage of course and uh, first I'm trying to like calm down myself before I go to the stage but then you know so it depends which role you are dancing but I'm always thinking to like okay now it's time to show who I am, you know, it's Koki. Koki is coming. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I like it, it. It sounds really weird, but you know, <laughs> no, no, I like it. I'm not being ambitious, but like I want everyone to see me. <laughs> That's good. So, I think. Yeah, I think when we're talking in one of the past episodes again, mm -hmm. I don't know. I think it was with Haley. Mm -hmm. How ballet is such a um, collective effort, mm -hmm. but at the same time, is uh, selfish. Exactly. Yeah. You know, because you do have to work very good with your yeah. uh, co-workers with your friends and everything but at the same time you have to be a little bit selfish to True. show yourself we need some part of the, yeah uh -huh. that character too yeah I totally i know i like it <laughs> i like the cock is coming <laughs> i'm gonna i'm gonna remember that yeah for sure i really like it only in my case maybe but yeah. <laughs> how you know because you wanted to say a little bit how have you dealt with being on the shorter side how does mm. that affect you because oh, for yeah. example to me when i see you on the stage i'm not thinking cookie is so small i'm thinking like best word I this <laughs> amazing dancer is just killing it like great you, you know you don't, I don't it doesn't matter but how do you feel because i don't live that in reality thank you Gustav. yeah it just makes me feel really, really good like i love people like audience tell me oh you didn't look like this short it was uh, my best moment <laughs> <laughs> but anyway yeah so maybe it's actually the uh, Maurice Bejo school's experience changed my mind but 
Mm, I was obviously I was really short since I was young. <laughs> <laughs> I was the like shortest dancer in the studio, so always that was an issue for me with me and、uh, in Switzerland when we worked with. Or his visual company,、mm -hmm. we had a chance to like be a part of their production. Like only if you like three school students can be can join for their like touring as a dancer, like、okay. not an extra as a dancer. And for rehearsal, I was picked up because I had like technique and like quality. But again, they told me, no, you cannot come with us because you're too short compared to other dancers. So and.、Oh. That experience really <laughs> cracked my heart. Of course, <laughs> I I think that was the like most biggest experience to cry for me. Oh wow! <laughs> I was crying for like two hours or something. I can I can believe that. Yeah. But yeah, but you know, since then, okay, I know I'm sure, and、uh, there's、I、nothing know, you can do about it. Exactly. I know I cannot be with tall guys, but. Why not? If I were alone on stage, like if I was a solist on stage or some in ballet, it could be really totally happen, totally okay. So I was trying to show my, you know, own movement. How to say like my character or like my special techniques, special skills. Trying to really on know, the stage shape it, yeah, on the stage and show it. And also, as you said, I don't look I don't look like short on stage.、No. I'm trying to really use my whole body, like whole chest, and feel my air surrounding my body, and I try to use it as my body. So <laughs> know, it's really hard to experience, but yeah, I, I love but, it. Yeah. No, I really like it. At the same time, you know, just saying something like you cannot dance with tall guys. No, yes, you can. It's also 2023.、Mm -hmm. Like, we can do it. Like, no, everything has to be exactly the same.、Mm -hmm. Because there is gonna be companies that are gonna be doing that. Which there is nothing wrong. True. We should keep the tradition. How yeah, things, you know, I don't, tradition is tradition. Yes, I don't, I don't see anything wrong with keeping it.、Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I feel like there is moments where we don't need it. Yeah, we might not need to be same. You know? Yeah, same exactly. For example, you guys just recently the. Little Mermaid.、Mm -hmm. There was a lot of group pieces. It was, yeah. You were in front of all of them. It, True, you didn't even seem sure or anything. I didn't even wonder that. Like, oh, it looks off. Not at all. Great. It's just like, <laughs> look at this guy <laughs> jumping like five feet in the air. <laughs> yeah. Yes. You know, I don't want to be very, you know, less than tall a guy. <laughs> no, you were. <laughs> It's killing it. It's my like small like fire in my head. You know, <laughs> Good. I'm always trying to be more than taller guy. <laughs> I like it. And that's why it keeps you. And you know, now that you're saying, you always want to keep more. How do you keep that consistency?、Mm -hmm. How do you keep that motivation? Motivation into keep going and to keep. Yeah. Well, maybe it comes back to like dancer is selfish、yeah. <laughs> subject, but I'm. I really like. This is also coming to why I like ballet, but I really like to see myself doing ballet, like not doing ballet, but to see myself doing ballet. You know what、yeah. you mean? What I mean? Like, I really like. I can really like myself when I'm in studio or on stage because when I'm doing ballet, I can be really like honest to be. To myself and like very kind and connect with each other like my friends and ballet can connect like everything with me and、uh, so okay <laughs> so we are talking about motivations yeah yeah no <laughs> so if I like to be in studio if I like to dancing ballet why why I cannot. You know, <laughs> why not to have motivation? Yeah,、exactly. I understand what you mean. Because is there a moment where you feel like you lose it a little bit? I mean, yes. Okay, no, yeah, which is human. Yeah, human. I get lazy really <laughs> often, but but you keep it. Yeah, I'm trying、but、to keep push myself. What What is something that you see yourself wanting in the next coming years? 
Oh my god. Well, as well, yeah, I will come back to Eugene Valley <laughs> for next season, next year, but yeah, I'm just same. I don't say same thing, but same thing that keep progressing. Like, yeah, same thing, but better quality, like more and more. Yeah, I mean, you're doing it. <laughs> If it, can, yeah. I feel like also the good thing about different shows too is that you can keep mm-hmm. growing that quality and that exactly, yeah. experience because if you were doing the same shows every single time yes you can keep improving mm-hmm. that show but maybe not as a well-rounded yeah. artist not as an artist you uh-huh. cannot grow yeah exactly I'm really, really happy to have like different pieces every year like I can learn a lot it's, for example like in Little Mermaid I was dancing a role of Prince but which will not choi- choose the uh, little moment to be a partner, you know, as you said, as you saw. But yeah, I mean, it was really difficult role for me. Like, it was not only like ballet prince, like good smiling uh-huh. kind, but he was not really. <laughs> he was a douche. <laughs> kind of, yeah. <laughs> you know, it was funny. It actually, was funny to see you actually a little bit more in that role. Yeah, you know, I felt like kind of. I was playing like bad guy. I yeah, felt. <laughs> you were. It was the bad guy. Pretty, yeah. Like you were the bad guy. Yeah. For a little moment. It was, was hilarious because yeah, my money is like, oh, Cook is playing the bad guy, <laughs> and like, I kind of like that mm-hmm. because it's like it was very obvious. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, it was clearly. I'm playing with you, but I'm gonna want the other one. <laughs> it was so funny. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. It was a good experience. It's a great it's experience. A new experience for me. Like ballet, like there is moments when you are like, I need to do this, this, this. step different, or like, oh. oh, do I need to approach this character different, mm. or like maybe you are like, oh, this is not enough for me. I see. When you like uh, judge yourself, right? Yes. <laughs> like, okay, yes. And I tell what you need to myself. Oh. Are you? Yeah. Are you too hard on yourself? Well. I don't know if it's a good uh, answer for that question, but I really like to record my rehearsal, oh. doing the rehearsal, and uh, see myself after, you know, what what I take video, and uh, you know, obviously, in your mind you think you are doing this, yes. but if you see video after, you are doing something really uh, different and which you are not trying to do you know the way you not really like <laughs> so I'm trying to like make it closer you like image or mind and like actual body movement to connect connect like to be same because I have a really good exercise maybe you can do that but when you cl- open your eyes and you have a finger it's really easy to touch like tip of your finger, uh-huh. but when you close and imagine what you're doing, and okay, I could do it, but it's really difficult. It's really difficult. But there's always a little bit of a gap between mind and body in anything, you know, not only body. So I'm trying to like focus on to make that gap a little a bit shorter, shorter, less. So and. Uh, same thing it. for like artistic way. I'm talking, I was talking a little bit athletic thing, but artistic way too. Like, if you're thinking, I'm saying I love you, but maybe sometime from different angle, it looks maybe I, you know, yeah, <laughs> different world it looks like. So, <sighs> no, I like it. I like it. You know, I really love what you were saying about connecting the mind and body mm-hmm. I love the exercise because <laughs> you see like yeah I'm gonna miss I feel I never thought of that uh-huh. have never thought of that nice. and I love it I'm gonna use it I think it's really it's important a great way to us. connect to see where is it, am I fully there like why is it not connecting exactly. like how to you have to talk with your body you know <laughs> I like it I never never thought of that nice. I, I'm gonna use it like Great. a lot please I think it's gonna help I think it helps I feel like I already feel like you know like it's connecting like oh where am I like mm-hmm. how is my body this yes, yes and also when you're saying about videoing yourself mm-hmm. 
I think in the past episode, I was talking about how I don't like the mirrors in the studio. Oh, yeah. Because I think the mirrors are distracting you from connecting your body to your mind. That's true. Because you are too focused on like, how do I look like? That's true. <laughs> totally. When you are dancing, you cannot see yourself. That's why I'm okay with the video mm. because the video is afterwards. You can see like, oh, true. this happens. I was not here. I was not, not doing, doing you a damn thing. Yeah. yeah. So then you can actually fix yourself and connect the gap. Mm. But when the mirror is there, I feel like the gap actually becomes bigger. Bigger. That's true. I don't know. That's, That's true. How I think about it. Um, just to finish, this is a question that mm. I ask every single mm. person that is coming is how would you inspire somebody to dance or how would you inspire somebody to take the leap of artistry and going into an art form ah. what would you tell them I know it's a very tough question yeah. as well but that's true I have to be very responsible <laughs> <laughs> it, it does feel like a response yeah. like a way like oh yeah as an artist yeah yeah but it might, it might be the same thing but first you have to love yourself that's That's also like one of my favorite words, which from Polonskaya, do you remember? Polonskaya, Linda oh, Miller. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. From Gelsi. Yes. Well, one of our teachers always told me, told us to love yourself. Bera was saying too. Yeah, Bera did say that too. And uh, I think this word is everything, I think, which means if you don't love yourself and if you don't love your for example for me dancing how like everyone audience can love you love you love me because people who are you doing something not something people doesn't like doesn't look attractive doesn't look beautiful but if you are really enjoying to do that enjoying to maybe dancing enjoying to painting singing people will maybe like it like as i said people can feel their like pain and everything like sympathies mm -hmm. to give them a sympathies you have to really like what you are doing you have to really love what you are doing so from there Of course, well, sometimes you have to really suffer in, you know, <laughs> difficulty. You cannot always be like, oh my God, I love it. Oh my God, I'm so good. You cannot be like that as a professional. But first of all, you have to love yourself and then be honest to yourself through that, like, art material for me dancing. And if you face, to face dancing, honesty, you know, <laughs> it comes after yeah I don't know how to <laughs> no 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 I think you said it perfectly I under completely understood what you were saying yeah so I really like that you have to so I mean it's, it's as cheesy as you say it sounds but it's kind of like the same thing when you're finding a partner in life mm -hmm. oh if you love yourself somebody else might actually love you but if you don't really love yourself you might not find that partner that's good for it's, it's, it's so you know it's, it's so yeah. cheesy and it's so like oh everybody tells you that true but it's so important it is important I think I agree yeah no. thank you so much Koki thank, thank you, you for so coming much. it's an amazing I'm very happy to have you hopefully this is not the only time we do this yeah and if people have any questions or want to know more a little bit about Koki or anything please let us know in the comments we would love it we would really appreciate it i will appreciate it a lot and thank you so much for listening or watching thank you thank you thank Koki. you Gustavo. thank you thank you Arigato gozaimasu. Arigato. <laughs> thanks for listening to beyond the mirror if you enjoyed this podcast please hit follow or subscribe so you can stay up to date on new episodes until next time